Good morning, this is Monday, October the 19th, 2015. I'm going to sing the song first, so my voice will hold up, by Elisha A. Hoffman, 1905. Is your all on the altar? You have longed for sweet peace and for faith to increase and have earnestly, fervently prayed. But you cannot have rest or be perfectly blessed until all on the altar is laid. Is your all on the altar of sacrifice laid? Your heart does the Spirit control? You can only be blessed and have peace and sweet rest as you yield Him your body and soul. Would you walk with the Lord in the light of his word and have peace and contentment alway? You must do his sweet will to be free from all ill. On the altar your all must you lay. Is your all on the altar of sacrifice laid? Your heart does a spirit control. You can only be blessed and have peace and sweet rest as you yield him your body and soul. Oh, we never can know what the Lord will bestow of the blessings for which we have prayed till our body and soul he doth fully control and our all on the altar is laid. Is your all on the altar of sacrifice laid? Your heart does a spirit control. You can only be blessed and have peace and sweet rest as you yield him your body and soul. Who can tell all the love he will send from above and how happy our hearts will be made? Of the fellowship sweet we shall share at his feet when our all on the altar is laid. Is your all on the altar of sacrifice laid? Your heart does a spirit control. You can only be blessed and have peace and sweet rest as you yield him your body and soul. This morning we want to yield body and soul and lay it all on the altar. Reading from my utmost for his highest in a title, The Unheeded Secret, John eighteen thirty six. My kingdom is not of this world. The great enemy to the Lord Jesus Christ in the present day is the conception of practical work that has not come from the New Testament, but from the systems of the world in which endless energy and activities are insisted upon, but no private life with God. The emphasis is put on the wrong thing. Jesus said, The kingdom of God cometh not with observation, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you, a hidden, obscure thing. An active Christian worker too often lives in the shop window. It is the innermost of the innermost that reveals the power of life. We have to get rid of the plague of the spirit of the religious age in which we live. In our Lord's life, there was none of the press and rush of tremendous activity that we regard so highly, and the disciple is to be his master, as his master. The disciple is to be as his master. The central thing about the kingdom of Jesus Christ is a personal relationship to himself, not public usefulness to men. It is not its practical activities that are the strength of this Bible training college. Its whole strength 
lies in the fact that you are put in to soak before God. You have no idea where God is going to engineer your circumstances, no knowledge of what strain is going to be put on you, either at home or abroad. And if you waste your time and overactive energies instead of getting in to soak on the great fundamental truths of God's redemption, you will snap when the strain comes. But if this time of soaking before God is being spent in getting rooted and grounded in God on the unpractical line, you will remain true to Him, whatever happens. Reading Wisdom from Oswald Chambers' book, He Shall Glorify Me. Seeing is never believing. We interpret what we see in the light of what we believe. Faith is confidence in God before you see God emerging. Therefore, the nature of faith is that it must be tried. We pray, Lord, today that you not give us an easy day. We know that conflict is there, that our faith must be tried in order that we may grow and become more and more like you. Father, we give you access to ourselves, that you burn away the dross, that you allow us to go through the fuller's fire, that you allow us to be shaken and those things that are not of you be cast away, that your light might shine through us so that uh, the cracks will be seen and your glory will be evident. Father, we long for sweet peace. We long for our faith to increase. We have earnestly and fervently prayed, and now we find rest and perfect blessing because we've laid it all on the altar. Let us stay there today and rest in your presence as we go through the fire. We thank you that you never leave us nor forsake us, and that you've already pronounced us holy and righteous and complete. We are complete in you. In Jesus' name, amen.